we're just going to talk briefly about a little curiosity, which is a shear transformation. Okay, what this involves is a transformation of this form. Okay, so y remains unchanged, but x, the new x coordinate, uh, moves in proportion to the original y coordinate. Okay, so what that means essentially is if you have a, a box, a square type thing here, um, the x coordinate of uh, each of these points will get pushed over in proportion to how far away from the x axis it is. So you can see that the, the line on the x axis doesn't get moved at all, okay, it doesn't move at all, but uh, the further away from the x axis you go, the further it's pushed over. This is called a shear transformation. In this case, it's a horizontal shear. We can also talk about vertical shear. Okay, and um, we also talk about uh, this here, this fixed line. The line that's fixed is usually called the line L, it's given that notation, it's called the fixed line. Okay, this by the way is um, how um, italics are usually created uh, as part of a, a word processor. Okay, so italics are usually uh, a shear transformation. Okay, so y is unchanged and uh, the fixed line is the x axis. Okay, we can write the transformation here like this x dash y dash equals x plus m y y which is the same thing as uh, 1 m 0 1 times x y okay so the new coordinates uh, are the all coordinates transformed by this matrix here, which is the shear transformation matrix. Okay, uh, we can ask what, for example, is the determinant of this matrix, and it's one times one minus m times zero which is 1. Okay, so you can see that the uh, the area is scaled by 1, which means it's unchanged. So even though um, uh, the, some of the points are pushed over, okay, slanted like that, the area still remains the same. Okay, this uh, shear transformation will pop up again uh, at some point soon.